Okay. Well, and what we call bin seven. It's a 750 ton bin. And uh, we're just getting ready to fill it. So I'm gonna, I'm checking the grain to make sure that everything's cool and there's no hot spots or like right here you can see there's condensation dripping from the vent to make sure it's not froze like this. Because uh, this isn't bad, this would probably go through the auger, but if you get a big block, that'll break a well and that's not good. We don't normally have trouble with these Brock bins as much as the two big GSIs. See, here's a block of ice. Yeah, see? We don't normally have trouble on a normal year, but this year with all the high moisture corn and the fact the dryer was going so freaking slow as a result, um, a bin like this would normally dry into for, say, eight hours or so because we unload out of the dryer hot and it steeps in here. But this year, we'd to get roughly the same amount of corn, you had to dry 12 or 13 hours. Now, you see there's a spinner up there on the cyclone. You can see the pipe coming through the roof. The, the air system delivers the corn. It spins it. So in the center, you end up with all your dust and your fines. So if there's gonna be a hot spot, it's usually right here. So this is nice and cool. And you can see the dust rise. So I have the fan running. Oh, it's all blurry now. But it's nice and cool. There's no problems. Just gotta... Something you gotta do. Yeah, this bin's get was actually just about right to the well before we started harvesting again this week. It was all grade two corn. I think most of what it's been replaced in is grade two as well. Here. Everything looks good. I'm unloading another bin right now. It's, uh, it's been a very busy week as we're shipping dry corn out as well as receiving. And when we only have one shipping receiving leg, it's kind of double booked, it's been fun. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna run the unloader on this bin for uh, two, three minutes just to loosen up that center and this bin will be ready for 12 hours. Okay, so I'm back on the ground again. I said I'm gonna pour for a couple minutes. So you can see, I got corn going through coming from bin 9. So, turn the unloader on. This unloader vibrates something fierce. You can hear the corn going through that pipe in the bin five here. See that the pipe you saw on the roof that comes up the side wall and in. Same with all of the bins, you can see them all. All the corn is delivered through this pipe. But uh, this drag line carrying it through the uh, Hundred foot shipping receiving leg, and we're still in the overhead right now for shipping points. 